hello everyone. Welcome back to the Core Zone. This is day five of the Dumbbell Challenge. I hope you all have been enjoying my challenges. If so, please make sure you subscribe and do not forget to ring that bell so you won't miss out of any more challenges, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and get started with a three minute warm up. All right, here we go. Okay, legs spread out, go all the way up. Suck in the stomach, reach high as you can, and drop it back down. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. As we exhale, let's come down, touch the floor. Let's hold for 10 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Good. From here, let's just do some basic squats. These are like the same um, warm ups that I've been doing for the past like three days, four days. You know, keeping it simple, stretching the legs, stretching the arms, stretching the abs. All right, come back up. Let's do some side bends, feet apart, so that we have a good balance. Come all the way over to your left. Hold for 10 seconds and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, come all the way over to your right now. Stretch out your obliques. Hold for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one good let's do a torso twist just stretching out your ab muscles because doing those ab workouts yesterday my abs was kind of sore so which is a good thing toning our abs all right shoulder shrugs just go back up and back, up and back, up, back, up and back. Let's go forward. Nice. So the first exercise we're going to do are just standing marches. You're just gonna need both of your weights. All right, just head side to side. Let's do some arm scissors. So we have like 10 seconds left. Let's go ahead and get our weights and get in position. Doing marches, you wanna make sure your feet are spread apart a little bit so that way you can listen. Two, five, marches for 45 seconds. Sorry about that. That was kind of loud. All right, guys, just bring those knees up. I might have to turn it down some more. We're just bringing those knees up. Now you can keep your weights here if you want to. All right, it's up to you. But I like more weight, and the more weight you have, the more muscle you're going to build. All right. So bringing your weights up, you should feel the abs. All right, you can feel the weight on your abs as you're marching. Three, two, one. Last for 15 seconds. Let's turn this down a bit because it's a little bit too loud. I think that's better. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another setting. Two, one. Marches for 45 seconds. Here we go. Good, just take your time.
give yourself a good steady pace to bring in those knees in, crunching in. You can keep your waist down or keep them up. It's up to you. Two, one. Rest for 15 seconds. Whew. Good. All right. We're going to do another set of marches. Take your time, y'all. Three. Here we go. Two, one. Marches for 45 seconds. You can go a little bit faster. Keep crunching it. Y'all doing real good. Keep it up. Two, one. Rest for 15 seconds. Good job. So this is the last set of standing marches. All right. Take your time. Three. Here we go. Two, one. Marches for 45 seconds. Let's do it. Suck in your stomach. Make sure your back is straight, bringing those knees as high as you can. Bringing those knees up as high as you can. Remember, if your weights are starting to become heavy, you can just drop them down. But you want to keep moving, all right? Two, one. Break for one minute. Good job, y'all. All right, we are going to take a one minute break. After this one minute break, we are going to go into crunches. Crunches are going to take place on the floor and you just need one weight for the exercise, all right? Good morning, Janine. Good morning, Lilia. Thank you so much for tuning into the core zone. Lily, I know you was laughing at me because the timer was like really loud and I was like, that's a little bit too loud. <laughs> if you're just now tuning in, the timer was really loud. So I had to turn it down for a bit. All right, let's go ahead and get on the floor. We're gonna do four sets, 45 seconds of crunches. Remember, you can keep your knees bent at 90 degrees or keep your feet off the floor. One. Crunches for 45 seconds. Here we go. Keep crunching your 10 seconds. Two, one, rest for 15 seconds. Good. So the first two sets are pretty easy. It's just getting to those last two sets. You're starting to feel your abs burning. Two, one, crunches for 45 seconds. Ten seconds. Two, 
two, one. Rest for 15 seconds. Good job. So now, if your feet was on the floor, you can drop them back down and just do the basic crunch. Two, one. Crunches for 45 seconds. Keep going, y'all. You're doing good. Two, one. Rest for 15 seconds. All right, y'all. This is the last set of crunches, okay? Take your time. There's no rush. Three, two, one. Crunches for 45 seconds. Here we go. Just keeping that weight right above for your belly button. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds, y'all. Come on. Two, one. Break for one minute. Good job. Nice work, y'all.